Welcome again to Farman Khan's Biology, a step towards smart learning. Today we are going to discuss the next step of cellular respiration that is Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle is also known as PCA cycle as it contains three carboxylic acid groups and it, uh, it named as Krebs cycle after the name of scientist. It takes place in mitochondria. We have a molecule of pyruvic acid that is the end product of glycolysis. This pyruvic acid converted to acetyl, acetyl coenzyme A. Pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound but acetyl coenzyme A is a 2 carbon compound. So in this reaction one carbon is released out in the form of CO2 and this reaction is a redox reaction. So the compound that is reduced is NAD into NADH2. So basically acetyl coenzyme that is a 2 carbon compound which it takes place into Krebs cycle. Pyruvic acid directly do not take part in Krebs cycle. So basically acetyl coenzyme A takes part in Krebs cycle. Acetyl coenzyme A is a 2 carbon compound which is accepted by a 4 carbon compound that is named as oxaloacetic acid. Oxaloacetic acid 4 carbon compound acetyl coenzyme A is a 2 carbon compound which together makes a 6 carbon compound named as citric acid. Citric acid is a 6 carbon compound and the enzyme used here is citrate synthetase. Then citric acid converted to isocitrate. Isocitrate is an uh, isomer of citric acid. So the enzyme used up is isomerase. So we uh, we numbering these steps. This is the step one, and this is the step second. Isocitrate, which is an isomer of citric acid, and isocitrate is a six carbon compound. Isocitrate that converted to alpha ketoglutarate. This is again a redox reaction, and the compound that is reduced is NAD into NADH2. Isocitrate is a 6 carbon compound, and alpha ketoglutarate is a 5 carbon compound. So the one carbon is released out in the form of CO2. After that, uh, we Mention it in third step. So after this alpha ketoglutarate converted to succinyl coenzyme A. Again this is a redox reaction and the compound reduced is NAD into NADH2 and alpha ketoglutarate is a 5 carbon comp compound. Alpha ketoglutarate is a 5 carbon compound and one carbon is released out in the form of CO2 and succinyl coenzyme A is formed which is a 4 carbon compound. Succinyl coenzyme A and this is named as 4th uh, step. This is 4th step. Succinyl coenzyme A is converted to succinic acid which is uh, in this step some energy is released out and which is used by GDP to produce GTP. And indirectly it is converted to ATP. Succinic acid then converted to fumarate. This is again a redox reaction. But the compound that is reduced here is not NAD. The compound reduced here is FAD which is reduced to FADH2. Then fumarate converted to malate by addition of water molecule and this malate helps in regeneration of oxaloacetic acid. Malate converted to oxaloacetic acid is again a redox reaction and the compound reduced is NAD into NADH2. So this is fifth step, this is sixth step, seventh and eighth one. So total 8 steps takes place in Krebs cycle. So again overview pyruvic acid which is come, uh, come from glycolysis 
and pyruvic acid converted to acetyl coenzyme A which is a two carbon compound acetyl coenzyme A is uh, um, accepted by oxaloacetic acid which is a four carbon compound and together they make citric acid which is a six carbon compound citric acid then converted to isocitrate alpha ketoglutarate succinyl coenzyme A succinic acid fumarate malate and oxaloacetic acid so these eight steps takes place in krebs cycle now we will talk about the total magnitude or gain of krebs cycle okay now we will talk about the magnitude or gain of krebs cycle so we got uh, one nadh from here second third so we get three NADH and one FADH three NADH one FADH and one ATP these three NADH one FADH and one ATP is comes from one Krebs cycle and we know one NADH is what equal to 3 ATPs 1 NADH is equal to 3 ATPs so 3 NADH are equal to 9 ATP Nine ATP. 1 FADH is equal to 2 ATP and 1 ATP is equal to again 1 ATP so the total we get 9 ATP, 2 ATP and 1 ATP total is equal to 12 ATP these 12 ATP are just gained from one Krebs cycle but as we know we have two pyruvic acid molecules that are comes from glycolysis so one Krebs cycle produce 12 ATP and the another Krebs cycle from another pyruvic acid produce 12 ATP so we have to multiply these 12 ATP by 2 so we get 24 ATP by 2 Krebs cycles one pyruvic acid into one Krebs cycle and the another pyruvic acid from another Krebs cycle as we have two pyruvic acid molecules that comes from glycolysis glycolysis which is the end product of glycolysis so in single Krebs cycle we just got 12 ATPs but in two complete Krebs cycles we got 24 ATPs after total net gain of Krebs cycle the main question is how to remember the sequence of Krebs cycle or the name of compounds uh, used in Krebs cycle or produced in Krebs cycle so this is a little bit tricky I'm going to tell you so by taking first letters of these compounds that is C I K S S F M and O by taking the first letters of these compounds that is C I K S S F M O now C we can remember this C I no K for no no it starts from K that is K N O W no so C I no some simple formula making options that is again C I know some simple formula making options so by this uh, by using these first alphabets of these compounds we can easily remember the uh, the compounds and uh, total steps of uh, uh, Krebs cycle sequentially that is C I know some simple formula making options by making a simple sentence like this C 
see i know some simple formula making options we can easily memorize this sentence and we can easily memorize the name of these compounds by the first alphabet or the first these letters we can easily memorize the sequence of krebs cycle and the name of compounds that are produced during krebs cycle